Hey guys, welcome back to the Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo, and today I have um, an update for you. I have a news update. It's not a channel update. This is a Marvel movie schedule update, and so this is going to be um, really cool. So I think some of you guys have been wondering how many more Marvel movies there are. We're, uh, you know, this is the opening weekend for Marvel's Infinity War. Um, you know, some people have speculated whether or not this is going to be like, is this is this it? Is this the last we're going to see? And of course. No, there's more Marvel films to come, and Avengers 4 is next year. And I wanted to go over a lot of the Marvel projects that are confirmed, and a lot of the Marvel projects that maybe are rumored as well. So, let's just go ahead and jump right into it, alright? So today is April 28th, it is the opening weekend, it is Saturday, uh, opening weekend for Marvel's Infinity War. I have already seen the film, but this will have no spoilers whatsoever. We're not going to talk about the film. We're just going to talk about the schedule for all of the upcoming Marvel films and let you know that there is plenty of Marvel still on the way. So, um, next up, after Infinity War, the next movie coming out is Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 has um, a couple incredible trailers. It looks really funny. If you guys saw the first one, you know it's a comedy legend. Um, it's not for kids. Don't take your kids to it. Um, it's it's strictly for adults. Um, it's going to be uh, very explicit um, in every way you can imagine. But um, it's going to be a comedy with Ryan Reynolds, as the first one was, and this one has Josh Brolin in it as well, the guy who's playing Thanos. So Thanos is also playing Cable in the Deadpool 2 uh, movie on May 18th. So May 18th is the next date. That's 2018. That's Deadpool 2. After that, we have um, a Netflix series. Luke Cage Season 2 is dropping on June 22nd, 2018. And um, that's going to be really cool. Uh, if you guys follow the Netflix series, as those are a lot of fun. Um, it's something that you can binge watch because they drop all the episodes at the same time. You can just jump right in and watch um, 8 to uh, 13 episodes of a series. It's a lot of fun. I love those series. Now, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, this is going to be the first romantic comedy for Marvel. It's going to be really cool. A lot of the Marvel films have their own kind of like styles, different genres for each film. Uh, maybe it's like a like a space opera, a space cowboy opera, or it's a spy thriller, or you know some sort of like military style film. Um, you know, uh, yeah. what what am I looking for? The uh, It'll have different different types of genres, and Ant-Man and the Wasp is the very first romantic comedy um, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I hope that they delve deeper into uh, the romantic comedy aspect. We've got plenty of comedies in the Marvel Universe, but I would love I would love to have more of that romantic comedy to make it stand out as um, a unique movie in the in the universe. So Ant-Man and the Wasp is July sixth, twenty eighteen. So moving ahead to October 5th, 2018, we have the Venom movie. This looks awesome. If you guys have seen the second trailer, um, it looks beautiful. It looks amazing. Tom Hardy does the split personality perfectly. Um, just, I mean, we've only, we only get so much in a trailer, right? So we don't, we don't know if the movie is going to be legit or not, but it looks like it's going to be really legit. It's restored a lot of hope for this franchise. Um, and despite the fact that it's the Sony verse and, even though their Spider-Man is technically Tom Holland, um, it's still like a, uh, it's up in the air whether or not it is at all connected to the MCU. And for the most part, they deny that it is, even though it's the MCU's Spider-Man that is their Spider-Man. So it's, it's, it's kind of like, uh, we don't really know. Uh, look, we're going to pretend for the sake of not getting our hopes up that it is completely separate. That is the running, um, uh, that is that is the held belief right now that it is not at all con connected, and that Tom Holland will not be in that movie, despite there being rumors of him being seen on set. So that's October fifth, twenty eighteen. Really excited for that. Next, December eighteenth. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, December December fourteenth, two thousand eighteen. I don't know why that got erased from my thing. December fourteenth, two thousand eighteen. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is an animated movie um, that will cover uh, the Spider-Man from the Ultimate Universe, which is Miles Morales, and um, he will be, uh, it's, it's going to be really cool. DC does a lot of animated movies that are really good, really high quality stuff, and it's very fun 
to watch those films. A lot of energy put forth into those films, and you get a lot out of it because it's it feels like the comic book. Because it's not like a, it's not like a live action where you you tend to judge it in comparison to your ex, your previous um, uh, expectations based on other animated films, based on other um, like cartoons you grew up on, based on comic books you've read. And you kind of judge it like it has to hold up to those standards. When you watch the animated films, it's like, okay, well, this is kind of like the comics. I mean, this is, it kind of sets its own standard. It's its own universe. And we don't typically hold the movies to that, even though we should, because they are their own universe. They tell their own story. But um, that's, it's going to be a lot of fun to see this because they're di digging into the Spider-Verse, all the different Spider-Men. We might get to see Ben Riley. We might get to see... Um, like uh, Spider Gwen, we might get to see. Uh, you know, I know we're going to see Peter Parker because he was in the trailer, which is really cool. We just don't know which P Peter Parker it is. We assume it's the six one six Marvel six one six standard universe Spider Man, which would be awesome. Um, but you know that we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm excited nonetheless. You guys should watch the trailer. It looks beautiful as a, an animated film. So that's December fourteenth, two thousand eighteen. Now jumping ahead to February eighth. 2019 we have silver and black now a lot of people don't even know if this one is going to make production um they think that it's it's possible that it, it's going to either a be canceled or maybe it's already canceled but it's like on a on pause they're waiting to see if the venom movie um gets any traction if they can make enough money then they might just fund their next project which would be silver and black which is uh silver sable and the black cat so um, a lot of people don't think that th there's any point in making this film. Um, Black Cat is only really interesting because of Spider-Man. Um, and only otherwise, if you were to even neglect the Spider-Man aspect, her background is only interesting because of Captain America, and she's neither in the MCU nor apparently connected to Spider-Man in her own film. So it, it sounds stupid. It really does. Silver Sable, no one cares about Silver Sable. I mean, she's like, all right, but it's like she's... She's a small part of the Spider-Man universe and it's part of the Spider-Man universe and it's like it's only important because of Spider-Man. Like nobody cares about Silver Sable outside of cosplayers um, who want a little something different to work with and um, and people who follow Spider-Man and his universe. And so, if you, you know, it's kind of like no one really cares. But if Venom does good, then maybe they can make something out of these characters. Maybe they can make them stand out in a way that no one else would have expected them to be able to. We don't know. But that, nevertheless, is February 8th, 2019. Enough on that. So, March 8th, 2019. Uh, skipping ahead to March 8th, we have Captain Marvel. Now, this is going to be a major movie for the MCU. And um, no spoilers for Infinity War, all right? So, um, just, just the fact that Captain Marvel is going to show up. We know this. This is confirmed public knowledge from before. This is something that Marvel Studios came out and said, is that Captain Marvel will appear in uh, in the fourth Avengers film in some capacity, whether it be a cameo, whether it be an after credit, whether it be an actual role, she will be making her appearance in number four and her movie will come out right before avengers 4 anyway but the the film story itself takes place back in the 90s it's a flashback film and um uh you got to ask yourself if this hero has been around since the 90s then why haven't we seen her well obviously if it's a flashback film they're going to address that in her story so she's going to be fighting the the scrolls which are a shape-shifting race of aliens in the marvel universe and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast, and she's gonna be the most powerful hero that we've ever seen in the MCU. So that's gonna be awesome. Um, a flashback film in the '90s. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be very important. You're gonna want to see that. Uh, March eighth, twenty nineteen. Now, Avengers four, May third, twenty nineteen. We don't have a title, and um, almost everything after this is going to. Um, in some capacity either revolve around this or it's going to it's going to hinge upon the events taking place inside of Avengers 4. Now, we don't know what it is, we don't know anything about it. Um we have to see Infinity War and then we can start to speculate about what uh, Avengers 4 is going to be uh, what it's going to be about, what it might be called, but it could be anything, we don't know. It could be they could be re uh taking it back and just saying, "Hey, this is uh, Infinity War Part 2. We don't know. Um, but they did that for secrecy and so that you could focus on Infinity War when you see it. So next, right after Avengers 4, 
So Avengers 4 is May 3rd, 2019. And then Spider-Man Homecoming 2 is July 5th, 2019. It's right after. And um, it's not called Homecoming 2. It's The, the working title is just Spider-Man 2. Um, since we've already had two, two other Spider-Man 2s, there's Spider-Man 2 and Amazing Spider-Man 2, they don't, haven't released the title name yet, but it's taking place right after the next Avengers film. Um, so it's they're keeping the actual title a secret, and all the following films are going to be a secret as well. And so we don't know what's going to happen, but it's supposed to take place moments after the next Avengers um, and it's really, really exciting. I can't wait to see what that's going to be about. What, what the night, what the name is going to be. The names typically reveal a lot about the story. Um, and so for them to hold on to that says that it probably does speak volumes about where they're going to take the story, where they're going to take Peter Parker. Um, and so, uh, that was July 5th, 2019. Next, we have a, a list of eight untitled but confirmed Avengers release dates for films. And so I'm just going to jump through these really quick. Um, just because they're untitled doesn't mean that there's no slot. There's no project. They're not just like saying, oh, that's a reserved seat. Oh, do you have anyone coming to the theater? Well, no, but I'm going to reserve it just in case a friend shows up. That's not what's happening here. It's not like random reservations. They have plans. They have movies picked out. They have probably casting being worked out right now, scripts being written. They have plans for these projects, but they're not saying. They're huge on the element of surprise, and they, they want you to focus on the films they've given you for now. And then later down the line, after we get the fourth Avengers film, then they're going to boom, 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 start releasing the names of these things. So first up is the untitled number one is May 1st, 2020. Next is Untitled 2, July 31st, 2020. Untitled 3 is November 6th, 2020. And that's it for 2020. And so then Untitled number 4 is May 7th for 2021. Untitled uh, 5 is July 31st, 2021. And then Untitled 6 is November 5th, 2021. And so that's... Year to year, that's a movie in May, a movie in July, and a movie in November for both years. And then in 2022, we have February 18th, 2022, and then February, or I'm sorry, then May 6th, 2022, uh, two of them confirmed for 2022. Now that's eight total films, right? That's three, uh, May, July, and November of 2020, and then uh, May, July, and November again in 2021. Uh, the next year. And then for 2022, it's February and May. And so we have um, eight films with no title, no information released whatsoever, no casting, no general, like there's no information on these things. It's just Marvel knows what they're doing. They have plans. They probably have actors. They probably, you know, well, they might have actors. We don't know yet what the projects are. They're returning like Doctor Strange Part 2, Doctor Strange 3, if it's like Black Panther 2, Black Panther 3, Spider-Man 3. You know, we don't know what these are, but, um, or Captain Marvel 2. We really don't know what these are going to be, but um, we do know that they have plans and they have dates locked down. And so that's, that's really encouraging. That's cool. And that means that in some capacity, at least some of the MCU will move forward after this. Probably, I would imagine, Spider-Man's going to get his third film. And then probably Doctor Strange. And then probably Black Panther, I would assume. Maybe Ant-Man might get a third. We don't know. Um, so, that's exciting. Now, let's go down to some of the rumored projects. So, rumored is... Uh, so, all that that I just said was all confirmed. All of that is 100% confirmed um, by Marvel... And I got, you know, it's, it's, uh, we're just waiting for that to happen. Now, these are things that are, have been talked about, have been discussed, have even been confirmed that they are working on or have been worked on, or some of these are already finished. Um, we, we just haven't gotten updates in a while. And some of these release dates are rumored. So let me just go over the, the items and then their rumored release dates. So rumored is the Punisher season two. Um, it was, it's been talked about. They've been, they've confirmed that they've greenlit a second season, but we don't know if they are in fact, um, done filming. If they, if they've started filming, it's, it's kind of all quiet right now. And for the Netflix projects, there's not usually a lot of talk about these things. 
um, until they're ready to market for the release of them. So uh, it's been rumored that late 2018 we should get the release of that season in full on Netflix for binge watching. So sometime late 2018 probably. But that's that's not rumored. I mean, that's not confirmed. That's just rumored. So again, Marvel's New Warriors. IMDb says sometime in 2018, but it's unconfirmed release date and no recent news. And I mean no recent news. No talking, nothing. Um, no no posts from Derek Theller. No posts, you know, like the actors not really confirming anything on social media. Um, it's, it's questionable whether or not Marvel is scrapping that project or not, but they haven't said anything. So... Um, I, I, I'm not sure what's happening here, but IMDb says 2018 with a dash, which means at some point after, like in or after 2018 around, we might get either A, more news about maybe a delay, or B, um, it'll come out sometime soon, um, if not canceled, which I hope it's not. I was really looking forward to that. So rumored again, Daredevil season three, late 2018 to possibly early 2019 is uh, is the rumored release date for Daredevil Season 3. And um, Daredevil's had a lot of success. People love the Daredevil franchise. Season 1 was amazing. Season 2 was awesome because they even on top of having a good story, they brought in the Punisher and everyone loved uh, John Bernthal as the Punisher. He got his own series out of that. They're confirming a second series. It's, it's awesome. So Daredevil Season 3 is huge and it'll pick up right after the events of um, the Defenders. So... Delayed is this one. This one is X Men Dark Phoenix. The date has been pushed to February fourteenth, two thousand nineteen. So next year. Um, that's you know that was scheduled to come out earlier uh, later this year, and they they bumped it. So um, that one's just a delay. That's not a rumor. That one's confirmed. It is uh, February fourteenth. I didn't have that on the list above because it falls into a delayed category. So I was going to leave that down here for you guys. Um, New Mutants has been pushed to February 22nd, 2019, and that New Mutants is the uh, horror film. So that one, uh, it looks interesting. Um, I wasn't super excited about it at first, I mean, especially once they announced the horror. I'm not huge on horror. Um, I might go see it anyway. Um, I think it could be very interesting, especially with the Danielle Moonstar character. I really like her in the in the comics, and then what they did with her in the X-Men Evolution for a couple episodes, I thought that was awesome. So... Um, yeah, I'll probably go check that out. I think that'll be nice. That is everything that I have from here. I'm going to post, um, I'll put all of this in an image on the video so that you guys can see it. And, um, yeah, just stay tuned for more. Um, I'll have more news updates as they come. And then, uh, but for now, this is everything that we have. And I think, uh, just for the confirmed stuff, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 17? That's 17 items. So Marvel alone. Hi, baby. Here, let me pick you up. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi. Say cheese. 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 So that's 17 items that Marvel is putting out alone. That's not DC. That's not Star Wars. That's not Jurassic Park slash World. That's not uh, Transformers or Power Rangers or anything. That's just Marvel. So this is a huge lineup. Tons of movies coming our way. Um, lots to geek out about. It's a lot of fun. And obviously plenty for me to talk about here on the Stuff of Legend. I'll be giving you guys updates all the time when it, as news comes out for uh, any of the projects, any of the this movies. Yeah, look at all the pop dolls. <laughs> she loves the pops, which is fun. We just like to look at them. Pop. We, yeah, pop. We look, don't touch. And, um, and so, yeah, you guys, um, what do you guys think about all this? Which movie are you most excited for? Are you guys excited for, say, Deadpool 2, the Venom movie? Are you guys excited for Infinity War? Have you seen that yet? If you have, please do not post any spoilers. I'm not even going to post a spoiler review probably for weeks, maybe even a, a month out. I'll save that for a while. I really want everyone to be surprised by what they see. I have seen it. I'm going again to see it again tonight with my wife and a few friends. It's going to be awesome. And um, you guys just enjoy yourselves and let me know in the comments what you guys think about this schedule um, and which projects you're most excited for. Give me like a top three. Thank you guys so much. Give me a like if you like this video. Please share it with a friend that you might think needs this type of information, wants to know all of the uh, information for all the confirmed Marvel projects and even the rumored stuff um, so far. Let me know uh, what you guys think as well. I love I love talking with you guys in the comments 
and I do talk with you guys in the comments as often as you guys uh, write to me. And um, yeah, let's just keep this conversation going. And uh, maybe I'll do one of these for DC projects as well, because that's a little bit more complicated with, with the shakeups happening at WB. So um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, please. And if you guys, um, if you guys want to be uh, actively involved with me next time I do a live stream, make sure to hit the, the notification button so that you can be notified right away when I go live. That way you guys can participate and hit up the comments and I can bounce back and forth with you in the live chat. That'll be a lot of fun. Answer any questions you guys have. Uh, I love I love that stuff. I, I love talking about all this. And so, yeah. <laughs> That's the mouse. Can you say mouse? No, 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 no. Don't do that. There we go. Okay, so uh, you guys, thank you guys so much for uh, stopping by here on the channel. You guys rock. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time right here on The Stuff of Legend. Say cheese.